Hi, what is up YouTube? Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at this works pressure washer. It's portable and uses this battery, which is a really small battery. I think it's a 5S1P battery, meaning five cells in series and just a single cell in parallel. So it only provides uh, two amp power which isn't much, but I have a couple of these cells lying around. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade this battery for a longer run time. Let's get started. I took the battery apart and put it to test. And as advertised, it's about two amp hour or 2000 milliamp hour. This is just to ensure that I use cells of the same capacity range to make sure that it doesn't damage the original battery. So I designed and 3D printed the cell holders and then I would just add it in parallel to the existing 5S1P battery uh, in the original pack. So here is the configuration on the current battery. This is a 5S1P so I will not be breaking this. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a parallel group. I will be making a 5S3P and hopefully I will get close to three times the range or run time. The idea here is to add a 5S2P to this existing 5S1P to make a 5S3P. I will only need 10 of these, but before that I have to sort them in a way uh, where I will have five sets of uh, two batteries in parallel and to achieve that I've arranged all these batteries from the highest capacity to the lowest capacity the highest being 2187 and the lowest uh, 1813 to achieve the closest uh, combination possible I will just cut this from the center just about right here and I will just go ahead and uh, flip it around and match just like this. So this way uh, the highest capacity would be matched with the lowest capacity and so on. This way the average of each uh, cross match will have approximately the same capacity. So the first pack is all set, ready to be welded. So we're gonna do the same thing with the second pack. That's gonna be for another battery. So this is going to be like this. And then I'm gonna spot weld this together. So obviously we're not going to be able to use this so i'm going to have to 3d print an extension all the batteries are fully charged i'm going to go ahead and uh, spot weld this together i will be using the k weld i have reviewed this in one of my videos so i'm going to leave a link in the video description if you want to check it out get some nickel strips Power the welder. Let's see. Great. All right.
now we have a fab s 3p battery pack all right so as you can see the voltage status indicator is still functional 100 percent So this is still gonna work as the original battery. The upgraded case is 3D printed as you can see here and it looks good. This is gonna go back in the original case like this. And then the case. it on the tight side but it looks good as you can see upgraded 6000 milliamp power I made an adjustment to the design and now I have these grooves where the screwdriver can travel. I also added this spot right here where the battery status indicator is placed as you can see here. So I also added it in the new design.
and just like that i have upgraded the 2 amp hour battery into a 6 amp hour battery for a longer run time it's going to be approximately three times the run time and it's a, a very cheap way to get a bigger battery instead of buying so if you want to perform this update i'm going to leave the link to uh, the 3d files so yep make sure you have the right tools use uh, safety precautions when dealing with lithium ion batteries till then i will see you on my next video so here i'm basically going to repeat the same procedure for battery number two everything is the same <laughs>